Let's take a look at the all-zone wide receivers. At six foot three, 190 pounds, Wilson's Jacoby Quillen was built for the wideout position. But it's not just in the stature, but in the stats. Using his height for incredible leaping ability, Kobe went up and got 62 passes for over 900 yards this season, taking 14 of them to the house. Quillen played a major role in the Tigers getting off to a 7-0 start and making a trip to the second round of the state playoffs. His performance as a senior helped earn him a spot on the North-South All-Star team. Quillen also has an offer out from South Carolina State University. Jalen Coit is one of the most dynamic receivers in our area and will leave Shira holding every receiving record at the school. As the four-year starter racked up nearly 3,000 yards on 180 receptions and 40 touchdowns in his career. The two-time All-Zoner has racked up the accolades everywhere as a three-time All-Region and three-time All-State player. And he's also been selected to the Shrine Bowl of the Carolinas. Now, Coit is a stand-up young man off the field as well with a 3.9 GPA participating in the Real Men Read program as well as a speaker on bully and drug abuse. Coit had 30 Division I offers on the table before recently committing to NC State. A true athlete, Jalen Coit is also poised to be a three-time All-Hoop Zone member. Conway's Xavier Kinlaw was another one of the most exciting offensive players in our area. He caught 51 passes for over 900 yards and 13 touchdowns. In five of those, Kinlaw exceeded 50 yards en route to pay dirt, averaging just over 90 yards a game. The first time all zoner also returned an 80 yard kickoff for a score. In addition, Kinlaw has utilized his speed as a member of the Conway track and field team. When Mason Garcia was dropping dimes, it was often Carolina Forest senior Josh Murphy who was on the receiving end, racking up over 900 yards, taking eight scores to the house. The six foot first time all zoner was a major factor in the Panthers offense that averaged nearly 45 points a game, responsible for some big time catches en route to a class 5A region six title. Murphy has recently gained interest from East Carolina University and talk about a package deal if the Pirates pull the trigger. Murph is also a member of the Carolina Forest Panthers soccer team. Those Leggett bloodlines run deep out of Mullins as Elim Leggett looks to follow in his cousin Xavier Leggett's footsteps. But the six foot one junior did a great job creating a path all his own, piling up over 700 yards receiving and five touchdowns, adding another 209 on the ground. He also made 30 tackles playing the Mullins defensive secondary. And Leggett has gained interest recently by the likes of Coastal Carolina, University of Georgia and South Carolina. Johnsonville's Isaiah Brown arrived on the scene in a flash, using sub 4-5 speed and great hands for spectacular catches. Brown had 37 receptions for 612 yards and 10 scores. He also added 13 carries on the ground and converted six two-point conversions. Brown also had 19 tackles on defense, eight for a loss and one sack, always creating havoc on a play. He had three forced fumbles and one interception and a defensive score. This performance for the first time all zoner earned him a selection in the North-South All-Star Game. Taking one look at Dylan Snyder, the West Florence Jr. is the ultimate tight end, standing at 6'2", 220 pounds. The three-year starter is a powerful run blocker that has tremendous upside. Over the past two seasons, Snyder has caught over 50 passes for well over 600 yards. Now, Snyder was a battler this season in an injury-ridden season as he played on a torn meniscus for the last half of the year. With plenty of time to heal, West Florence will get the service of Snyder for one more year. Welcome on Tyree Funny had a season to remember as the go-to pass catcher for the Warriors, racking up 925 yards and 12 touchdowns. This was highlighted by a 184-yard three-score performance in the season opening win over Carver's Bay. Performances like this earned him a North-South All-Star selection. The Tyree leaves Waccamaw as the all-time leading wide receiver, flashing some gaudy numbers with over 100 catches, over 2,400 yards and 24 touchdowns. Tyree recently picked up an offer from Limestone College and the first time All-Zoner is also a three-sport athlete who plays basketball and runs track. Myrtle Beach's Darius Huff took time away from football, but a return to the field for his senior year has paid big dividends. The six foot three wideout uses his basketball player frame to go up and get incredible contested catches, reeling in 36 receptions for 647 yards and scoring eight times, including a four score performance against Carolina Forest. With just one year of varsity football under his belt, he has gained a lot of attention from Division I programs and recently received his first offer from North Greenville University. When you hear them say he's just built different, 
That accurately depicts another Myrtle Beach star receiver and six foot four JJ Jones. The transfer made his presence felt immediately as the go to pass catcher for Zoneman nominee Luke Doty. Despite missing a few games to injury, the junior hauled in 14 touchdowns for over 650 yards, averaging over 16 yards a reception. Football runs in the blood as his father played at West Virginia, where Jones Jr. also has an offer out from, among others. JJ will also play basketball this season for the Seahawks. Dylan's Amari Huggins Bruce loves to make big plays, and he's been making them since freshman year when he won a state title. Now a junior, his explosive plays are on display every game as he teams up with Jay Lester. This season, Amari racked up nearly 1,100 reception yards, hauling in 11 scores, taking two more trips to the end zone on the ground. He has offers out from a handful of programs, including Virginia Tech, Coastal Carolina, and App State. Jackie Hayes has to be excited that Huggins joins a cast of young characters who will return for the Wildcats. Cats.